Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Today we're gonna be talking about Turkesterone, this little supplement that there's been a lot of hype around for the last two years or so in the fitness industry. So what's up with the Turkesterone really? Is it the best natural supplement for building muscle or a complete scan? Or something in between. We're gonna talk about it all. So originally I was going to talk about Turkesterone and kind of do my review along with reporting the results from my bulk and cut that I did this year while I was using the Turkesterone, on the bulk that is. But there's been some controversy around the supplement recently so I figured I'd better split it up and um, yeah, so we're gonna get into the controversy a bit later on in the video, but um, yeah, that, that's not where we're gonna start. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm Theo, I'm a natural bodybuilder and bodybuilding coach, um, but it, I call my, myself a holistic bodybuilding coach because it's not only about the calories and the sets and the reps and the weights, it's about a lot of stuff in here too, right? Uh, and I've had to sort out a lot of that stuff for myself but, what I, but I've used the training as a tool for self-development and I coach others in this too. And so I've been training for, uh, it's late June now, I started late July, four years ago. So in a month I'll be, I have been training for four years. And so I am a natural and I will always um, promote the natural way, but I'm also, uh, you know, I'm not opposed to anything that's unnatural. Like if you think about it, any supplement in a pill form is really unnatural, right? Because you couldn't get um, that concentration and that amount of a certain, you know, of something in a little pill like that. But there are some supplements that do something, right? And so I'm open. I will always preach the, the, the uh, fundamentals, the basics, uh, always, you know, proper training, proper programming with the training, proper recovery, proper sleep, pro a proper diet, um, all that stuff, you know. But then if there's something, you know, a typical example would be, I would never want to go on steroids because while <laughs> they'll make uh, uh, you able to gain muscle much easier, and uh, you know raise the baseline for what's possible you'll also just completely shut down your endogenous testosterone production it's not healthy at all but something like creatine that um you know tried and uh, trying to true this uh, the science is there you know it will it can help you increase your performance just a little bit and there's like no side effects if you aren't one of those unlucky people that uh, experience hair loss from the creatine but i obviously don't so you see i'm a natural but i'm open if there's something where i deem like you know what this might give me a slight edge without any real side effects then i'm open to it so when I first heard about Turkesterone, I was excited. I heard about it from More Plates, More Dates. Maybe you even recognize that it's his brand, Gorilla Mind, uh, that I have here. Um, I was excited. You know, there was, there seemed to be some science there, although most of it was on rats, uh, but it was a little bit on humans, but there was also a proposed um, mechanism for how this supplement would um, increase, uh, you know, help you support your gains basically um, I'm not this, uh, the science guy uh, like that so uh, what is it it's a beta receptor beta estrogen receptor agonist and uh, you know I again I can't get into that but apparently it made sense when I listened to that this could be uh, another um, a, a way of increasing you know the, your potential for building muscle but most of all because I'm, I'm big on anecdotes seeing uh, people who have the results what do they do and then try it out for myself and so it was also that uh, Derek uh, with his company before putting this supplement on the market he gave it to a lot of advanced athletes and it seemed like advanced athletes that had been stalled plateaued for a long time because they've reached such a high level it, it seemed like they were um, able to actually you know nothing extreme but um, do some progress in this very advanced state so I'm very at this point I'm very optimistic like okay it looks like there might be something here but it's very expensive it's very it's sixty dollars per bottle and I couldn't really even if I was um, enthusiastic about it optimistic I couldn't have justified uh, buying it if I didn't do what I do for a living, you know, on uh, the, the coaching and yeah, training for me, the, the results. That's of course how I gain people's attention and all that. So I, I um, 
deemed it um, a worthwhile investment to try it out, you know, for, for the content, if nothing else, but if, if it helps me in my um, progress, then I'm happy, you know. So I bought uh, six bottles. They contain, what is it? Is it 60 capsules? And it says on it to take one uh, twi uh, twice per day. Uh, and um, advanced users may take one capsule three to four times per day. Well, I, from what I read, I immediately, I took four per day, two uh, at the start of the day and two at the end of the day because the half-life of turkestrone isn't really known, so it's just a safer option to spread it out like that. So I go on my book, and so what I notice immediately, what I've heard uh, from just reading people using it, that some were able to break th through strength plateaus when they went on the turkestrone. I also saw a decent amount of people say that their appetite had increased. So those were some things I had in mind going into it. And so right away, my pressing strength uh, goes up mo mo much faster than I expected. Um, and so I speculated, hmm, could this be the turkestrone actually giving me a little strength boost here? I did, I should say, I had a log. I, every week I put up and talked about my progress and what I thought about like the effect of the turkestrone, you know. So I speculated in those videos that, okay, it could be the turkestrone, but also I haven't been in a big calorie surplus like this in a while. And I know historically that um, the lifts that, um, you know, are mo most body weight sensitive for me are uh, bench presses and squats, you know. So I, I, I am like, okay, it could be the turkestrone, but it also could uh, be just, um, you know, me eating more and getting heavier. And so what I also notice is that my appetite picks up. I am hungrier. And this is kind of a big sign for me. I am uh, very much into the fasting. I do intermittent and prolonged fasting. And so from all my experience with that, I'm just kind of, you know, hunger is not something I experience to a, in, an intense degree. I have good appetite when I eat, but I don't usually go around like, oh, I'm so hungry. So even feeling hunger like that, I'm like, hmm, could this be the turkestrone kind of turning up my appetite for a bit? But again, I speculate that uh, I'm just going on a much more intense you know, training regimen. So it could also just be my body demanding more energy for the recovery, right? And this is kind of, you know, what I feel for, throughout the first half of this book, you know, that, okay, I see the pressing strength. It really keeps just exploding and it was kind of unexpected. But again, I have just been pressing for a while when I've been e either eating at a maintenance or very, very little surplus. So it could very well be just a bigger surplus and gaining body weight. And the appetite, by the way, that disappears for a while. After a while, I'm just sick of having to eat so much <laughs> on the bulk because I eat clean. I eat no junk food, you know, and uh, I, I love the food I eat normally, but just force feeding to try and gain weight like that, I get a little palate fatigue. And so the, the hunger thing didn't seem to hold up, right? So about halfway through this bulk, I'm like, yeah, my bulk is going great, you know, but I'm not really doing any progress that I you know, wouldn't expect to be able to do otherwise when going on a bulk, on a calorie surplus, with proper programming, training hard, uh, sleeping well, being very, you know, taking care of myself with recovery like that. So why why would I just be like, oh, this was the turkestrone, it must have been a turkestrone. So for like the second half of the uh, log, uh, the turkestrone book log videos, uh, this is kind of my conclusion that mm, it could be the turkestrone, but if it's doing something for me, it's so little that I can't really tell. And that was my conclusion, you know. But so, um, and what I think is the problem, before I go into the recent controversy, what I think to myself when I go through this, and I'm not like, hmm, I, I can't really tell that the turkestrone is doing much. What I see the, the problem being uh, with other people talking about it, it's like a lot of people, uh, say the more like famous big fitness influencers that, uh, go on it, you know, and make content about it. You know, these are people that have already, they have trained for years and years and they have already uh, built a very good physique. And so maybe they haven't, they can maintain that physique without having a super strict regimen, you know, just meeting up with someone and having a workout together, uh, you know, without, they, they keep training. But what I'm saying is they don't really follow a plan to make progress like that. And so when they start taking the turkestrone, all of a sudden they go on a very strict regimen and try, you know, try to increase lifts in the gym and all that. 
and so they all make progress on this and then but for some reason it's like it's as if they forget that okay uh, the, the proper programming actually trying to go for progressive overload you know <laughs> eating well sleeping well all that it's like no 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 it must have been the turkesterone you know that that i made progress progress that would be very reasonable for do, to do when you just um, nail down the fundamentals right like that but it must have been the turkesterone and very very often these people have a promo code you use my use my code to get a discount on the turkesterone right so i see a problem there that there are some people that are one they're going to have a bias uh, to want to say that it's working right and also another thing when i just read random like reviews on the website or comments on a video from just randoms i can of course that, that's the problem with youtube and stuff the anonymity like i don't care that people are anonymous like that but you can't see the individual you don't know who they are right but a lot of people are like oh yeah my lips just went up uh, a lot when i went on the turkestro and i feel like sometimes because i've experienced this so much as a trainer right that um, people they don't they, they might go train but they don't have a proper plan and program it's a bit more random and so they you know many times i've gone to train someone and they say the, the, say on the bench press a certain weight they can do for a certain amount of reps and every time uh, I, I can make them do more reps on the same weight or increase the weight because you know they don't really know what it's like to um, take it all the way you know like that and uh, it, it's it's gonna end up having on a day when they feel extra strong they might go for a little bit more you know but so I think there's a big placebo effect there they, they have heard all this that I heard are optimistic I'm just to be honest I'm not very prone to placebo I'm very aware when I might have a bio might want something to work and I don't want to trick myself like that you know but I think for a lot of people just that they've heard about a lot about uh, uh, They've heard a lot about this. They are enthusiastic, they take it. And then, of course, they're, when they go to the gym, they're gonna want to, they're gonna want it to work. They're gonna give their all. And the progress they did then, it might have been something they just, if they just went for it, they would have done, uh, had it e anyway, right? So I immediately see a lot of like um, holes in everything, right? And so, let me just check, I have a little list. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah, so the recent controversy then. <laughs> I'm very, very glad that I said that I came to the conclusion in my uh, Turkestron book or the videos that I don't really think it's doing much for me because recently a guy call, that calls himself Nootropics Depot, uh, the, how do you, the, the pot, it's spelled, I think, Nootropics Depot. He has done testing on many, many different Turkestron um, from different companies, you know. And they found that all, almost none of them contain uh, nowhere, they contain nowhere near, if even any turkestrone at all, nothing near what it says on the label, right? I know for a fact that specifically, uh, more, more plates, more dates, Gorilla Mines, turkestrone, uh, it was 111 times less than what says on the label. And there was some beta ectesterone, you know, the other, the other ectesteroid that's like, people have considered like second to this, you know. So, <laughs> uh, I'm very, very glad, uh, because apparently I, uh, the, the pill I've been eating, it uh, has barely contained any turkestrone at all, right? And there's a lot of people now, they're gonna look very stupid. Bo both the people pushing and selling this supplement, Greg Doucette too, he, he's so sure, you know, uh, the, the, his, his brand, uh, it was even less, I don't remember now, but it was even less turkestrone in his pills, you know, and he's been through it, no, it works, it works, I can feel it working, you know. They're gonna have to eat their words now. And um, yeah, all these people that have been pushing it with their discount codes, yeah, it definitely works. This natural steroid definitely works. Well, it turns out we don't really know if it works because uh, no one who thought they were taking turkestrone actually did, you know. So about the, I won't get too deep into the controversy and the drama, you know, when, when, when re, disregarding this that came out, that the pills didn't contain nearly as much as the label said, I never felt fooled by Derek of More Plates, More Dates when I bought and went on this, you know, he didn't sell miracles, you know, he said, he, he, he was very open that it's not a huge, it's not steroids, you know, but it seems to be able to do something for some people and you might be a non-responder that, that with all different kinds of substances that aren't, you know, you know, medicine, whatever, you know, I, I wouldn't call it medicine, but pharmaceuticals, you know, uh, 
you know, they have different effects on different people. People are, have different sensitivity to different things, you know. So I, I never felt uh, tricked or fooled by him. Uh, but now, of course, when I get to know that, okay, it was 111 times less uh, in the capsule, you know, I feel like, hmm. So I've seen him respond to some comments and all that. And I want to believe, you know, that it's just, um, you know, the, I, you, you're you gonna have to, there are other videos if we wanna get deeper into it, but I want to believe, of course, that it's the testing company that Derek used, that, that the, re, the fault is really on them. Because uh, the way I've seen it, he, he is, you know, I can't say that I like everything he does, you know, because he really normalizes uh, steroid use and uh, TRT use. Like, even, even when talking about the risks and all that, you know, always making this uh, connection to bodybuilding and steroids and the way he talks, you know, a lot of people are gonna find it more okay, you know, but uh, I, I don't think, still I think he's always seemed very honest and genuine and open, so I, I want to believe that he didn't actually, you know, knowingly uh, not do all due diligence to make sure that his um, product was good, right? So, yeah, yeah, well, I guess that's it. Uh, let me pause for a little yeah, that's all. So I guess, again, we don't really know if the turkesterone works well now because no one who took it uh, or, or thought they took it actually took it, you know. So maybe there's going to be round two of turkesterone, you know, uh, when people are going to say the actual, actual turkesterone. This actually contains what it says on the label, you know. But for the most part, you know, you know any supplement really, even the creatine, you're better off just sticking to the beef liver. So, um, yeah, guys, that's my little like review thoughts on the turkesterone. Obviously, a scam. The question is just, was it the people who sold the scam? Did they do it knowingly or not? We'll find out soon, I'm sure. So, um, well, leave a comment. What do you think about all of this? And uh, please like all comments and likes uh, help support the channel. So I appreciate it a lot. Please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, losing weight, building muscle, self improvement, mental health. All that kind of cool shit. Okay guys, I'll see you later. Peace.